Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today I want to show you something special. I want to show you custom made tokens. I just got them in. I think they're super cool. They're still all sealed up. So I'm going to open them up here and just go through them one at a time. And these tokens are actually made as a fan art project. So it's not commercial or anything. One of my patrons, Xandor, created these and put them on a Discord. So I asked him, Xandor, can I have those designs? Can I, you know, make a copy for myself? Because I just love to use these. As you can see, this is um, kind of a remix of the art of Delphi's Cube by Mark Tedden. So he's kind of using this at the back of the cards. And here you can see it represents the colors of magic, the flow in the colors of magic. That's what he's told me. So it's really cool. So old school tokens you can see here. And here, this is the name of this token set. So it's super cool. Like I said, purely a fan project. And that's kind of what I love about old school magic is that there are so many people making so many like funny things. And this is something we used to do in the 90s a lot as well, right? We would create like our own, you know, our own stickers, which people still do. Um, you know, and of course, Timmy Talks. I also have my own stickers that I send out to patrons and give away at events. Uh, you know, we make our own altars. It's just, it's, it's, it's a super important part of the old school community that, you know, you make your own stuff. You know, that's that's one of the fun things about it. Anyway, um, in this uh, episode, I'd like to show you the token. So let's just get at it. I do need some scissors to open this up. There we go. It is open, I think. Yes, it is open. So there are some tokens in here that you cannot find anywhere else. I'm pretty happy to have these. So this is a Kamarit token that goes with the card Hummerit Spawning Battle. I'll have the card here that connects with the token. And there we see that back. So this is one of the cards. I'll put it here. Then we have a Citizen token. Really cool. So again, a Fallen Empires card. You can also see the uh, expansion logo here. And then we have a token. Oh yeah, this is a misprint. Uh, Xander told me because look this is a Fallen Empires uh, little set logo but this token of course goes with the card Dance of Many which is a card in the dark and then we have the token 5-5 uh, five, five Flying this goes with uh, the Bottle of Suleiman so it's just really cool and here you do see the right expansion symbol by the way of Arabian Nights so it's just really cool that by you know printing this custom made set I now have tokens for all the cards in old school and here, of course, we see a Goblin token. So that goes with the card Goblin Warrants, also from Fallen Empires. I mean, Fallen Empires was really, you know, the first token set, wasn't it? Oh, a Minor Demon token. So what card do you think this goes with? It's black, it's red, it's from Legends. It's Boris Devil Boon. Really cool. And there, of course, this is a Rook Egg token. So again, we see the Arabian Nights expansion, 4-4 four, four Flyer. And this one goes with uh, Hazazon Tamar, of course, the 1-1 one, one Sand Warrior tokens. One really special thing about the Sand Warrior tokens is that there are three colors, right? They're white, green, and red. So that's pretty awesome. And then we have, oh yeah, the Suproling token, of course. And here you can see the artists, where he got the art from. Now, again, I'm just gonna say it again. This is not commercial. This is just purely a fan art project. So just for fun, because these tokens don't exist. Well, you got the punch art tokens, but not as a proper magic card. And then, oh, of course, you've got the snake token that you can make with the serpent generator, the card from Legends. Let me just check, because I know some of them have something else than the logo at the back, but most of these have the, uh, the logo of the set. So Stang, the twin token, of course, goes with the original Stang, a card from Legends. And oh yeah, this is cool. So this goes with the Tetravite, right? So you've got the card Tetravis and you can make little Tetravites. So these are all, I believe, separate parts. Let me have a look. Separate parts of the Tetravite. So this one goes in the middle, doesn't it? And how cool is that? Just really, really awesome. Amazing. A uh, card, from, of course, originally from the Antiquities. Then we have this one, I ah, Thrall, an 0-1 Thrall. 
Um, you can make them with, uh, oh, it's an enchantment breeding pit. That's the one. You can combine that really well with Lord of the Pit. And what I love about breeding pit is that it gives you the thrall token um, at the end of your turn. So that means when you play breeding pit, you already get a token, which is really sweet. Usually with these effects, it's in your upkeep. So that means you've got to wait a whole turn. Really nice. Also nice with Fallen Angel. Ah, of course, a wasp token goes with the hive. Wolves of the Hunt token goes with, of course, Master of the Hunt. Bands with other permanents are other creatures named Wolves of the Hunt. Really, really cool. And then I think this is the set because now it starts again because I ordered a few different copies or a few different prints, so I have multiple tokens. Yeah, really, 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 really nice to have this. And Xander, thank you so much for designing these and uh, and sharing them, you know, with me so I can make my own set. And uh, let me know in the comments below, have you ever made your own custom tokens? I'm sure you have. Uh, if so, what do they look like? You know, just, just let me know. Or what do you do with the tokens? Do you use glass beads instead of a proper card? Like I use glass beads still all the time. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think of this uh, of this token set by Xander. would love to hear from you. For now, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Somebody can see.